go to zen-browser.app, click on download Zen now. You'll be shown options for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. I'm on Mac OS, so it's auto-selected. Click on continue. You have two options for Intel machines and the M uh, Max with M processor. Choose whichever you want, mine is M M1, so I'm selecting the AR64. Click download. The download should begin. Now that is as downloaded, click on the DMG file. You'll see this window drags Zen Browser to Applications folder. Once the move is done, open Zen Browser from the applications. The other way you can do is press Command Space on your Mac, type Zen Browser, and <clears throat> you should see it there. Hit Enter. Uh, hit Open. This is one of the security settings offered by Mac. Just click Open. Right, this is the onboarding of Zen Browser. Once you say this, click on Next. Here, you can suit any theme. Uh, it can be light, dark, or any of the colors you can choose from on the top. Once you select, uh, the accents are quite subtle, but once you select, click on Next. If you want to import your data from any other browser, click on Import Your Data. Here I see only Safari and Brave, although I have only Safari installed. I don't see any other browser. Click on next and the next page is for choosing a search engine. Uh, I'm going to choose just DuckDuckGo. Once you're done with your, done selecting your options, click on next and you're done. So the first thing you'll notice about Zen is a really minimal layout with vertical tabs on the left, uh, a URL bar on the top and some settings on the bottom left. So let's go through these one by one, but before going to that, uh, I'll install some extensions by clicking on the extension button on the top right and click on this link addons.mozilla.org. Zen browser is based on Firefox, so you will, uh, any extension that works with Firefox will work with Zen. So unfortunately, Chrome extensions don't work, but you should find most of the popular ones on Firefox extensions already. So I'm going to install the blog origin and uh, Facebook container for now. If you're already a Firefox user, you can bring over your Firefox passwords, login, and bookmarks uh, by logging into your Mozilla account. You can do this by clicking on the three dots on the top right and click on sign in. Now let's take a look at the Zen settings. So click on the three dots on top right, click settings. The first option is enabled by default, open previous windows and tabs. So what this does is, uh, if you open a few tabs, then you click Zen. The next time you open it, all the open tabs would already be available. So that's a neat little option to set. So rest is mostly Firefox. So I just scroll down to the Zen specific ones. On the left hand side, you have the look and feel. This is pretty much Zen specific settings. Uh, quite a few interesting settings here. You can change the colors, you can change the theme, you can change it to compact mode. This is really good because it hides all the panes like the side panels and the URL bars and all you see is, is just the web page. This is one of my favorite uh, ways to browse the web. Sometimes because Zen is still in alpha, it's a little not too stable. So what I'll do is I'll just go back. Uh, so you can go to the left, however, and you'll see the vertical tabs. Go back to settings and I'll uncheck the compact mode for now. Uh, but yeah, feel free to play around. And then at the bottom, uh, this is one of my other favorite features. You can expand tabs by default on hover. I would like my tabs to be minimized once when I don't use them. But I won't see them when I hover them, so it gives me more screen space to browse around. The other highlighting feature of Zen Browser is workspaces. Uh, to enable this one, it's already enabled by default in uh, settings. It's still in experimental mode, so use it with caution. This is borrowed from Arc Browser. If you have used it, uh, you'll know. 
but what this generally does is let's say you have sessions for traveling you have sessions for work you have sessions for doing some other stuff it's much easy to group uh, by workspace so i'll show you how to do it let me create a workspace for travel by clicking on the plus button on the top left just follow what i'm doing and a couple more other sessions so you can select some emojis name them appropriately and create workspace once you're done uh, if you see like you if you if you're planning for some travel stuff or shopping stuff you can have them under here if you want to switch over to travel you can have them here what this does is it lets you have a grip on the number of tabs open so your sessions are not confusing and you don't go around finding which tab has what uh, if you it's travel related you can go to switch to travel workspace work related you can switch to work related workspace uh, you get the idea personally after i started using workspaces i was able to manage my open tabs earlier it was like 30 40 different tabs and i was going around getting confused like which tab was doing what and having to search them constantly now i'm like hey it's shopping so i just switch out to the shopping workspace it's it's uh travel related stuff i switch out to travel related workspace uh it doesn't auto organize you have to do it so it just gives you a way to do it one of the fastest ways to switch between uh workspaces is using keyboard shortcuts it's Control shift e on windows and command shift e on mac to show this i'll uh, expand the tabs by default uh, from look and feel Okay, so let's use the shortcut command shift E. Yeah, switches between travel, work, shopping, so on and so forth. Uh, to switch between tabs, you can do control tab or uh, control shift tab to switch to the previous one. So I generally use a lot of keyboard shortcuts to make my work go faster. Uh, it's easy to learn them, nothing complicated. Now let's go to Zen Mods. Uh, click on Zen Mods and uh, hit Visit Store. So once you go here, it's a lot of themes offered by uh, uh, the Zen browser. A lot of these are like uh, to change the UI. Some are minor functionality changes. They are super fast. If you find something, for in, for example, this one disable web view corners. On the top left, if you see the web page usually has a rounded corner. I usually install this one to if you can notice the difference uh, i just want more of a sharp corner so i'll just install them uh, there are some other extensions there's not too many at the moment but a lot of them are quite useful so feel free to explore them all um, the rest of it is pretty much firefox settings so i'm not going to go too deep into that The next big feature is split tabs. Uh, go to travel. This was where I was with Airbnb and Expedia. Let's say you want to go here and you want to check the prices side by side. Select this tab, hit shift and select this tab again. Right click and split two tabs. Right. Now. Once you have this, you can pretty much scroll side by side, do some comparisons, whatever you want. The way to close this one is still a bit buggy, but if you go here, uh, keyboard shortcuts, Control Alt U on Windows, and Command Alt or Command Option U on Mac. So go back here to travel. If you want to close this one, Command Option U, and now they are separate tabs. So that's how easily you can do a split tab on the same page. So that was a summary of what Zen Browser offers. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see something more specific or if you're going to switch to this. I can add more tips and tricks in the upcoming days. Do like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.